question 20. Now remember, with a velocity time graph, the acceleration is the gradient and the distance is the area under the graph. So we've got three accelerations or decelerations. Remember, deceleration is just negative acceleration. So three slopes to work out one area. So the acceleration from O to A, so what's this slope here? Well, so remember, the gradient is just the, uh, the Y step over the X step. The amount up of 10 divided by the amount across of 2, which is 5. From A to B, well, it's not accelerating. It's got no gradient. It's, uh, it's staying at the same speed. The acceleration is 0. Now, deceleration from B to C, <coughs> well, it's the same theory. The uh, slope is the Y step over the X step, 10 over 3. So the gradient is actually minus 10 over 3. The acceleration is minus 10 over 3. But as they ask for the deceleration, we always just give that as the numerical value. So that's 10 over 3, or 3 and a third. Now, for part D, we want the total distance from O to C. So that's the total area under the graph, comprising a triangle, a rectangle, and a triangle. I suggest you do three little sketches of each. Work out the area of each. Remember, areas of triangles is half times base times height, half times base times height, whereas the rectangle is just base times height. So work the three out separately, add them together, 55 meters.